Hey everyone, sorry I'm a few minutes late. I had some technical difficulties trying to get this all lined up and I forgot that my cat knocked over my tripod earlier in the week and it does not particularly like to be knocked over so it was not working. Ooh, sorry. Let me move the cord out of the way. And I will wait a few minutes because I highly doubt there's even anyone here yet. And speaking of the cat, here she comes. Sorry, I am just setting up. And then I will start in just a bit. Okay, Xanthi, please don't do that while I'm doing this, please. Okay, well, there's one other person here. Hi, Scrap Amazing. Hi, Beth. Let's see if I can scoot this over a bit. Can I? Ah. Um. Get this out of the way. All right, sorry, it's gonna shake a little bit because I'm just trying to move it over so you're seeing more of the screen and less of my paper over there. Well, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to be working with a wild hair kit I've got these three photos. This is a kit I bought, I think, last fall. And I'd asked for some of just one piece of the Amy Tangerine and then whatever else she thought would work with it. So there's a lot of Amy Tangerine. Oh, sugar, what was this line called? Shine? Shine on. Um, but it's not all Amy Tangerine. So if you don't know what Wild Hair Kit Club is, it is a, basically it's a concierge kit club. So you tell her if you'd like a small or a large, you'd say you'd like six by six paper or 12 by 12 or traveler's notebook side. I normally tell her I don't want thickers only because I have so many of them. So, and then she puts together a kit based on uh, what you told her. So this was a large kit. Um, I don't, normally I go for a small kit and then I add stuff from my stash, but in this particular case, I decided to splurge. And as you can see, once I get things, I then put them into my stash and hold on to them rather than actually use them when they first come in. It's like I have this weird vibe where I'm like, I must have the new things. Then I get the new things and it's like, oh, I still have old things. I need to use up the old things before I can play with the new things and then the new things sit in my stash until they become old things and then I have a vicious cycle of stuff in my scrapbooking stash. And that's how I scrapbook, ladies. Okay, let me, ooh. Oh, you're the, you're the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. Teenagers are walking by my house and shouting. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's a kind of obnoxious. All right, speaking of obnoxious, let's talk about what's going on in my life right now. You may hear some jingling or woofling. Um, we have another dog in our house right now, uh, in addition to my dog, Sadie. Uh, my roommate's, or my housemate's mom 
um, ended up getting a really bad reaction to an antibiotic and so she, they put her into rehab. Oh, hey, Tina. And so we have her dog right now and uh, his name is Archie and hi, Dale. He is very much less quiet than Sadie is. Sadie's a very quiet dog unless you're on a skateboard or you're bouncing a basketball. Um, Archie just will randomly start barking. So I apologize in advance if he does randomly start to bark. He, he usually quiets down after a couple. It's just more like a, I hear a noise. I am telling you I hear a noise. Um, so, <laughs> and just so you know, we may or may not see Xanthi. Uh, I don't know. She's, she's very intrigued by the fact that I'm talking to myself. Although she is right now very wary of Archie, so we may or may not see her. Or at least, you know, she was here for a minute, but she left because Archie kind of poked his head in here. All right, so we've got six of y'all on here. I mean, maybe five plus me. Um, hey, Tisa. Glad you could make it. Tisa was like, I always miss lives. Me too. I always miss. I always come in like halfway through. I'm like, crud. I should have remembered that. All right, so when I do a live, I like to work with a sketch just because since I'm chatting and reading the chat and talking about random things, I like to um, just have a, a basis of what to look for. So I picked these three sketches. They all have three photos, shockingly enough. Look at that, I have three photos. So we have A, which is this one right here. We have B, which is this one right here. And then we have C, shockingly enough, this one right here. So if y'all could put in a vote and I'll just go with, you know, whatever gets the most votes. And while y'all are voting and putting it in, I'm just going to kind of go through this because I actually have not used this one in a while. Yeah, and this is what I do. I take things out of the packaging when I work with it, and then instead of putting it away, I just pile it up because I'm super awesome like that. Because it's like when I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I think I can go ahead and recycle that. All right, what do we got? A, B, C. Oh, y'all are Fun, aren't ya? All right, I've got a second A there. I had a, sorry, I had something fall out, ha ha ha. And I remembered I put it back in, but I didn't remember where. So I did get alphas in, in this kit, even though I normally say no thickers, but I'm always up for a mini alpha. So what do we got going on? I missed, oh, here, I'll show you. That's A and that's B. So A, B, and C. All right, All right so the A's have it. All right, so this is by Design by Diana. I just Googled scrapbooking sketches and this is one of the images that came up. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much how I roll. Now you'll notice in this sketch, um, the photos I have are obviously not the same as the photos. So I can either do one of two things. I can turn it sideways, um, but you know, obviously I don't have to use a banner and I don't often do exactly what they say, um, but I don't like the way this banner points up. So I think what I will do is actually keep it in this direction and I'll just flip my photos over. So what I'll do is I'll make everything slightly bigger to compensate for the fact that my photos are horizontal rather than vertical. Okay. I'm just taking a look at what I've got for paper while I'm, see, look at that. How perfect is that a match for what's going on in the background? So we will keep that. I had used this for a cut file. So I like the 
arrows. I'm a sucker for a good arrow. And then I'm looking for a tiny pattern. This might work for a tiny pattern. This might work for a tiny pattern. Although if we start using all those blues, we're getting a bit monochromatic there. I'd like another item that has more than one color. I may have added some things from my stash into this kit because um, that cut file also came with my kit. Oh, I do have this one. I like that. I've got all these. I could use that as well for banners. Oh, there are little swirly things, and there are swirly things in here too. And if I've gotten to this point in the kit and I haven't used this as a background, I'm just, I might just go ahead and sacrifice this part, or I might see if I've got anything in my die cuts as well. I'll bring the sketch over so you can see me work with it once I go through all my papers and I get rid of what I'm not working with. I use that as a stripe, that might be. Now see what's funny is this is the actual paper I really wanted her to send me from the kit. This is what I asked for her to base the kit off of and I haven't used it yet. But it's kind of like this one I would love to use as a background. I know it's probably driving y'all crazy on the screen. I don't know how it is. Um, but I still hold out hope for this one that I'll find the perfect photo and be able to use it. The other one I'm okay with cutting into if I need to. That one I, I haven't lost hope yet. All right. Do, do, do. All right. So let's get back here. I need some white cardstock. I could use colored cardstock, but I don't have a lot. Hang on. Let me see if I've got anything that might work. Excuse the noise, I have to move the chair. Oh, where's my colored cardstock? So how's everyone doing? It is Tuesday, it is July. How is that possible? Um, I've had an exciting July so far. I went up to New Hampshire for creating uh, creating keepsakes convention. I did a crop there with my friends. Miss Tina was there for a while. How was the birthday party, Tina? I don't know if she had to step away, so we'll see if she answers. Um, sorry, I'm just flipping through. I've got, yeah, I was gonna say, I think that back piece was gray. So I don't want gray. I don't have, as I said, I don't have a lot of color cardstock. Most of what I have is neutrals. So it's just really hard. I think I'm just going to stick with the white cardstock. It was really good. Yeah, no, we were talking about it because we went out to that cupcake place a little bit later and it was still sunny and I'm like, oh good, she got her sunny day. She doesn't, she's not stuck inside a garage with small children, which is never fun. If anyone's ever gone to a birthday party and rain has made you stay inside a garage, you know the pain that that thing brings to children. I forgot to unpack my trimmer. I will be right back. I remember to unpack everything else except my trimmer. Yeah, so I went to CKC on Saturday with four other ladies. And then on Sunday, just in case I haven't mentioned it 11 billion times. Oh no, she got sick, that's awful. Um, oh, that really stinks. <laughs> um, as I was saying, on Sunday, 
I may have mentioned once, twice, or alone a billion times that my nephew is doing a summer pro program at the college he will be attending in the fall and he's living in the dorms and we had to move him in. All right, I'm going to move this because if I use that, it'll be when I'm doing the embellishing part. Now I just need to build the backgroundy part. So hey, it's already trimmed down. It's like literally like one of the most perfect things that's ever happened. <laughs> weird um and now i need looking for this piece here i know that's too skinny do i have i just wish i had a multicolor piece that was that oh i've got this i swear sometimes <sighs> i think i'm going to ink the edges of, of things because I think that'll help it achieve the look I'm going for. Do I want three inches or three and a half? I'm going to try three and a half and that way I can trim it down if I need to. So we are moving him into the dorm. It didn't take that long. But I will say, it looked like we were bringing in, like one girl was showing up with a carry-on and a pillow. And I'm like, what is going on? And I forget, my nephew doesn't uh, drive quite yet. He um, he goes for his driver's test actually uh, the week after he gets out of that program. So I forget that some kids drive themselves and their parents come up you know, in a separate car, whereas we were all in, this, well, we were all in the same car. We had gone to breakfast before. And so my stepfather came and I'm trying to cut at the same angle here and chat. Doesn't really work out for me all that much. So, oh, I like that. There we go. This is my second time using this piece of paper, so I don't mind chopping it up. Uh, yes, yeah, so because I got it in this kit and I actually got it, I don't know where else I got it. I know I got it somewhere, I just don't know where else. Yes, breakfast down two days in a row. I had, well, um, we were kind of doing a, um, you know, farewell to my nephew type thing. The place we went to on Sunday, like the place I went to, so before I went up to CKC, I had uh, lunch at a place like I could walk to. I didn't walk to it because I drove right from the restaurant. But um, it's kind of like slightly divey. I mean, very good food, but slightly divey. Whereas the place we went to on Sunday was super hipster. Also good food, but just a complete different vibe. Oh, that, I accidentally did something wrong there. Yeah, so I was kind of like, oh my gosh, did we overpack? And I'm, like, I didn't bring any decor items. Like, like, it was definitely not one of those Pinterest dorms you see, but you know, he's there for five weeks, so. It's already going to be, you know, away from home, like for the longest time. He comes home on the weekends, so it's not like he's never going to see us. But he doesn't come home on the 4th of July. How freaky is that? He has actual class on the 4th of July in the morning, and then they go um, to a nearby park where there are fireworks at night. So that will be interesting. How about you guys? You guys doing anything fun for the 4th of July? I am going to the beach if it doesn't rain. It's not supposed to rain right now and it's only a couple days away. So I'm, I'm gonna hope that it's not raining. <laughs> so we're gonna go with that. 
And then um, also, I will give a little plug here, on the 4th of July, I am joining some other ladies, including Tisa, who's who was here. I don't know if she's still here or not. You know, sometimes people are chatty, sometimes people are scrappy, and sometimes people are um, barely awake at this time of night, so they're just watching. And any and all of those are perfectly fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these down. Um, but anyway, what I was saying about Tisa, uh, we are both joining a summer, it's called Crafty Christmas in July, and it is being hosted by Heather's Crafty Life. And we have all sorts of Christmas projects coming out throughout the month. I'm going to release my videos on Thursdays. Sorry, lining up, I can't line up and talk at the same time. Okay, so Tina is a family pool party, cool. And then we've got relaxing, nothing special. Oh, Gail is in Canada, happy Canada day, Gail. <laughs> you're here, you're making dinner. I do that a lot with the lives. I do chores or, um, Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the lives up on my TV. And Sue, isn't, isn't technology fabulous? Super, super great that I can do that. And then I will edit videos while I am watching the lives, which is why I don't comment because once I cast it to my TV, I can't comment anymore. I like that. I very much do. And now I can use, there's uh, a small pattern item going here. And I don't mind that it will be tone, it'll be a tone on tone one rather than a multicolor. So now I need to decide. Oh, it could be the lemons. And I didn't think I'd ever use the lemons. But uh, what I'm actually talking about is a food truck festival. And they're actually all holding lemonade. So I think I'm gonna use the lemons. Cool. All right, let's get rid of the paper I'm not going to use. I always get a little excited when I end up managing to use a paper I didn't think I'd be able to use. So I think about, this is how I measure things. I dig my thumb into the paper because it's very, accurate that way. All right, I am going to go grab my water because how much I like you guys, it is really hot and humid out and I turned my air conditioner off so I could do this live. Um, <laughs> so give me one second, let me go grab my water. It was crazy. Two weeks ago, I was wearing a hooded sweatshirt in the house, and then it's like, boom, summer! So, as I was saying, I'm doing Crafty Christmas in July, and uh, my first video will be out Thursday, and then I have three more Christmas layouts coming out each of the third days. All the ladies are doing different days, but we're listing everyone in our description boxes, uh, which is like below where you see the video, there's like a little down arrow and you click on that and it opens up the description box and then you can find links to all of the ladies. That'll be on my Thursday video. And uh, there, if you subscribe and then when you comment on videos for every comment you make, you get entered into a drawing for a You know what, before I put this down, I should make sure this is going to fit. I can trim this photo down, and I think I will because there's a garbage can in there. Um, so as I was saying, you can enter in to win a prize being offered by Heather 
Um, so she'll announce the winner over on her channel. And there are a couple of the ladies that um, are offering prizes of their own. I think I want to map that. All right, let's see what we've got here. So in case you're wondering what this is, I, uh, this is actually last summer, just about this time, actually, I need to move everything down a little bit. Um, just about this time, one of, we have a mall that's kind of like a, what the teenagers would refer to as a bougie mall. It's got like a pottery barn and it's got the Ann Taylor and the J Jill and the, you know, the she shear, uh, she shear stores. And it's uh, an outdoor, but what's hilarious is it's what used to be called a strip mall, but now they've they've labeled it an outdoor mall and they have music and stuff like that. And you know, all the cool hipstery people go there. That's where our anthropology is in our town. And so um, last year they had, for the first time, a food festival, food truck festival. And we went and my nephew and his best friend and another friend of theirs came with us. We actually just went to it again this year, but uh, they were in Florida. So Nina and I went by ourselves and I did not take any pictures because it was incredibly hot. Um, so we were not in super sunny, so we were not looking our best. So I was just like, you know what? Let's just skip the photos this time around. So, ooh, look at that. Oh, I love it when it's perfect. Dang, I love it when it does that. And I love a good diagonal stripe, so that works perfectly for me. If Gail is working on, oh, your telephone tag. So, Gail belongs to a message board I belong to, and we're doing a, a telephone tag. I think Secret Not Secret Club is doing one for the secret scrap. They did one for the secret scrap party. And I believe Christy Harriman is doing another one, um, both for women who do YouTube and then also for um, another one for women who don't do YouTube over on the Secret Not Secret Facebook page. So, um, Layout Tag is basically the game of telephone played with layouts. So basically, um, person A makes a layout just either on her own or, um, you know, from a sketch or a scrap lift. And then she shows her layout to person B who then makes a layout. And then she shows her layout to person C and then once you get through person G, H, F, whatever. <gasps> the diagonals don't go in the same direction. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, that would have drove me nuts. Let's see if I can do this so that they're in the same direction. Or we'll just scrap this diagonal. Thank you, Beth. It's one, it's one of those things since I'm talking yeah, that's the same direction, correct? Please tell me I'm not crazy. It's just that they're different angles. This one's a, a looser angle, but yeah, that's, yes? Is that good? Can someone tell me if it's good or not? <laughs> I'm gonna have to have more tape to this anyways. No, 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 you were, you probably were, if, if I'd actually been looking at what I was doing rather than chatting, I would have noticed because actually that is something that bothers me. There are some things that don't bother me that I'm, you know, everyone has what bothers them, but that does not bother me. Uh, not that that actually that does bother me, but it doesn't necessarily mean it bothers other people. All right, so let me see. Yeah, it's so funny. Oh, look, lemons, and you're barely gonna see them anyway. So in in fact, it's simply 
color. Although, oh no, this one comes out over here. I think I'm gonna layer this under this because otherwise it's gonna bother me. Yeah, because if I'm gonna have this over here, yeah, it would bother me to have that space. And I think I might trim just a little bit down on this photo because otherwise it hangs over that and it drives me bonkers. And this is just a crowd photo. That doesn't necessarily bother me. I don't know that person. He has been banished from my scrapbook. Don't want that. I think I need to audition whether I want that over the lip of that. But then if I do, no, I don't because this is, this looks better over like that. Okay, woo. All right, now, so we've got the photos, but because there's stuff tucked underneath, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to take a look at what I've got, see if I've got anything that works, see what's going on. So as I was saying, it was super duper hot at the food truck festival. We, it was like really sunny, very warm. I think I'd rather have a block of, what is it, journaling. Oh my gosh, journaling, that's what it's called. Although I don't know if I want the brown because I don't have any brown. That was the one thing that was weird with this was the brown because I like this, but it might be too tall. That's not too bad. I like that better. And there's a circle one, but that's too small. Um, now let's see, I've got some of these. These are color cast designs. This came in my kit. Color cast designs, she does a lot of the acrylic I work with. And then she also does really thin wood veneer that is adhesive and it's really adhesive-y. So I've got spectacular, love this view. And what I'm thinking is rather than how in the um, sketch there are these, I'm thinking instead I will use these. The only other thing is the third one, it says the daily grind and that doesn't really work, but there's actually only two on the thing. So I'm gonna use that instead. And now I like the idea of cutting this out, only they're blue and I don't have any blue on here. So I'm not thinking that's going to work. And I'm thinking rather than do those banners, I'm thinking these chipboard stickers might work instead. In fact, what I'm thinking about is using these emoji things because to me, food truck festivals are super hipstery, you know, young people, blah, blah, blah. I won't line them up straight, straight like that. I'll add a little bit of movement to it, but I think I like that. And then I think also I may pull the title up to here rather than down here where it is in the video, in the sketch, but I don't really know. Yeah, like it's like, Let's do black and white and bright colors and then add craft. <laughs> okay, Amy Tate. Oh, y'all, have you seen her new one? Like the one that hasn't been released yet, the one that American Crafts just like showed a uh, snippet of? I did not see two pieces of paper that I could use together. Like every single paper was super bold color. Every single paper was weirdly themed and nothing went together. 
I was like, all right, it's going to be a hard pass on Amy Tan this year. Um, uh, yeah, just, just a no for me. And then, oh, but Pink Paisley just put out their new, I think it's called Hello Again or Again and Again, something like that. Their fall themed one. And I was just like, here, take my money. Dude, you know those mini alphas they have coming out all the time now? Hang on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I like them so much, I keep them in my most used drawer rather than with my other thickers. So these ones that come out with a lot of the Paige Evans ones, and then also, what was that, like Auburn Lane or something like that, they're coming out with a wood grain over pink foam. I'm like, okay, well, we're going to need any of those. Um, Paige Evans came out with her new line. That's okay. I like Paige Evans. Um, I find her designs very usable. Uh, so I was okay with that. Maggie Holmes, I liked hers, but it's too girly for me. I have no need for anything that girly. Um, it's very like vintage, I mean, it's very Maggie Holmes. And I already have a bunch of Maggie Holmes and there isn't anything in her new release where I'm going, okay, well, I have no need for it, and yet I'm still going to buy it. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to add more liquid adhesive under this because they're chipboard. So obviously, they don't actually stick. All right, and then I'm thinking, rather than those curly things, I've got some leaves. And I could use leaves instead. So I like that. And it brings the black up throughout. I must have another leaf. Please tell me I have another leaf that's not brown. I might bring that over. I'm auditioning these right now. These uh, floral, but yeah, yet. Wow. But not yet really floral. Is there not another leaf? There's black flowers. That's not bad. I'll, we're auditioning right now. Yeah, same, same Beth. I thought her new line looked a lot like um, Horizon, only it's not travel themed, I don't think. But I don't necessarily mind when a designer's lines look similar to each other. Like a lot of Dear Lizzie lines go well together and it's great because you can just add a little bit um, and still get a, a, a freshen up your stash. So I do that a lot with Dear Lizzie. I did just place an order with uh, paper issues, just kind of like a mishmash of things I missed out on. Um, one of them being a couple of things from the Vicky Booten Kaleidoscope line. I didn't get a lot, I just got a couple of things. And, but talk about like Vicky Booten, her new line, What's it called? Honey, honey, hello, honey and butterflies, something along the line. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous. Like, like never mind scrapbooking. Can I just wallpaper? Can I get it in wallpaper form and I'll put it up in a room somewhere? There were some stunning pages. Vicki Booten is like coming into her own. Hi, Gata. Is it actually Gata or is that got? I see it says now, I, now I see it says Gata Studios, so. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that might actually be their name. Okay, so let's see. I'm thinking I need something else besides this. I do have these fabulous and wonderful, and I don't want the yellow and the yellow to be next to each other. So what I think I will do is add these in, give a little bit different size, and not size, but color and not all faces. Do I have any more? I might even use, I don't want to use the sad because nothing was sad about it. I don't want to use the passionate, but let's see, I might move this over a little more. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just need to take a small break. I told people 
that I need to not have them text and or call me. So if they need to contact me, go through Facebook. And I have a Facebook thingy and I just need to, a notification, and I just need to check that it is not my nephew saying, I've broken my leg, please come rescue me. Which you would think would be hilarious because so not true, but you know, he did in fact break his arm at summer camp playing musical chairs. Did you know that was possible? It is for my nephew. Okay, so this is going to be a very eclectic layout, but I think that's okay sometimes if the story warrants it. And as I said, this is, you know, a food truck festival, which has that very eclectic feel. There was all sorts of food there. It was still warm because once, I, like I said, we went again this year and it was around the same time in at the end of June. And Xanthi is joining us. So if the video starts shaking, that is why she has weathered the dog and has come in here. So for those of you who weren't here at the beginning of the video, my housemate's mother um, had a bad reaction to, she, so like talk about a cycle of awfulness. She gets a spider bite and it, behind her ear and it gets infected. So she goes to the doctor and they give her some antibiotics. And, oh Beth, you remember that? Yep, okay. Um, she gets some antibiotics, which she has a really bad reaction to. So much so that they think she has C. diff. And so she, they, you know, she goes to the emergency room, they admit her to the hospital, they start, you know, pumping her full of stuff to get rid of what they think is C. diff, but what actually turns out just to be a really bad reaction. Um, they couldn't even do the test for her because she was so weak. So she's going to go into rehab for a little while until she gets her strength back. And until then we have her dog, Archie, who is not as quiet as my dog, Sadie, and to whom Xanthi, my cat, does not particularly care for. <laughs> so she has not been really down here. She's been hanging out upstairs. I need to replace this with that because the orange next to the orange. I'm gonna swap that one for that one and because it just would bother me. Actually, I like it like that a lot. So I think I'm gonna keep it just like that. I'm going to add the lemon up here. And then I think there was a drink bottle somewhere. Yeah, the drink bottle. I'm going to add the drink bottle over here. Let's look at this. What do we got? I think that's pretty good. I got to put a title down. Um, and I think I'm going to skip the plants. Um, I think I like it like that. And I think I'm going to do, oh yes, food trucks. So let me find what font I want. <laughs> Sorry. I just made myself laugh over the dumbest joke ever. <laughs> oh, sometimes I, I think I want to go for a black font. I think I'm gonna go for Fitzgerald because it's nice and thick. Oh no! I'm gonna go for this because, yeah, y'all can't see it yet. So <laughs> it's a little bit formal, but I like the black with the gold because it kind of mimics the black with the gold in the um, journaling spot. So is it hot and humid where y'all are? Cause it is super hot and humid here. It is crazy. It's like, I think this is our 
fourth 90 plus day. And, okay, I'm gonna be spelling trucks backwards, so you have to give me some grace here of quiet, because that's not a word I spell all that often. Ah, these don't wanna come off. There we go. And then I need a, so oh, I probably could have pulled it off the first page. The problem with having multiple ones is when you go from a more popular, T-R-U, a more popular letter to a less popular letter, and then you forget to go back to the first one. R is a popular letter, so it's probably over here. Ooh, I do have one T left. Oh, so as I was saying, oh, it's very big. Well, it's not really. So as I was saying, is it is it hot and humid where y'all are? Are you expecting a good day for the 4th of July? Or I know, Gail, you're in Canada, so you don't necessarily care about the weather on the 4th of July. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to move this up and move these down because this is slightly too big. And then... Do that like that, maybe. Oh, I hate it when things are just, you know, I understand if it's too, too big. Oh, but I can overlap this because it doesn't matter because that's just scenery. It's not the people. I'm not, I don't care about the strange people in the background. Oh, 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 woohoo. <laughs> Always care about the weather. Rainy and windy today. Well, that doesn't work out for your national celebration. Do you do any, so sorry, Beth, you did, no, not Beth, Gail. Oh man, you said you were just relaxing today for your holiday. The thing with having a um, holiday on a Thursday Oh, hang on a second. Oh yes, food trucks. But I've got these alphas and I could use these instead and just, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna change my mind, which happens quite often. Only I can edit it out <laughs> when, it's, uh, when it's not live. No, I like it better over here. I was thinking about tucking it here, but I like it better over here. And once again, I will add, I won't do it on screen. Where are we at? We're at six, oh wow, this is actually going pretty fast. Um, I might go ahead and add glue on screen and then we can chat about what you wanna do next. Cause I'm almost done here. I will not do my journaling on screen cause that's not barry. All right. So I will use these for the word food. Well, I don't want gray. I don't want white. And so I think it's gonna be the darkish grayish brown. Okay, D. Hopefully I have two O's, I do, okay. I'm gonna pull out my T-square ruler actually and move these out of the way because I will not be able to line that up at the angle I'm at. D, 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 D. Yeah, it's, it's like, I want to do nothing. And you're like, well, I could scrapbook. That's not really work. Speaking of work, it's funny because our the 4th of July is on Thursday. So like probably about 80% of the people are taking Friday off because hello, four day weekend. But the cool thing is that means next year, and then for the next two years after that, we get three day weekends um, for the 4th of July. So that's a nice thing to think about. Cause 
I am working on Friday because I took, I'm taking a lot of days off in the fall for some vacations. I'm going to Minneapolis for a scrapbooking thing with some friends. And then I am going to Ohio for a wedding. It's funny because it's actually, <laughs> this is funny. Uh, I did not get married. Um, my cousin, my eldest cousin did not get married. And then my, I'm the third oldest. Uh, my next eldest cousin eloped. And then it's my brother who's two years younger than me and he is not married. And then, um, then there's a 10 year gap or an eight year gap between my brother and my next oldest cousin. So he's only, he's not even 30 yet. Um, and then it's like another four cousins this is all on my mom's side. And so this is actually the first wedding, like actual, like not the first marriage, but the first wedding of, uh, my, my grandparents have both have on my mother's side have passed away, but this is, um, her, one of her older brother's daughters. And it's actually the first wedding for this generation of like my grandparents' kids. So it's kind of funny. So we're all going. My mother passed away a couple years ago. For those of you like who understand why I'm going with my stepfather and not my mother, but we're, we're renting an Airbnb house close to the place in Dayton, Dayton, Ohio. And my stepfather's like, let's go for four days. And I'm like, okay. Um, so we are going to be in Dayton, Ohio for four days. We're probably going to, um, travel to like, um, Columbus and go to a zoo and there's a gin distillery somewhere that he wants to go to. So we'll do that as well. So T R U C. Oh, I likey. Yay. I always like it when I actually like the page. You ever get like three quarters through a page and then you're looking at it going, well, where did this go off the rails? <laughs> Can I fix it? Do I care? All right, I want to read this. Hi, Elena. It's actually recovering from my nephew's wedding. June 3rd. Oh, ooh. Wow. Outdoor wedding. Oof. That's, yeah, it was warm. It was warm here. I think I'm going to go ahead and add that as well, just because it's an arrow. And I do indeed love arrows. But I think other than adding glue, we're done. And obviously journaling. So I will give y'all a choice. Well, not a choice. We'll see how, how long everything takes. But I can either put together a page kit or two. Oh, of course, this is sticking. Um, I've got some photos picked out for what I'm going to be scrapbooking in the month of July and then August. I won't make page kits for them all because we'd be here for a little bit longer than I'm prepared to be. Um, I also have about five or six layouts that I made at the day crop I went to at CKC. And I could show you guys that. Or let's see, what else can I do? I can, if you guys have any questions like about my mixed media or anything like that, or anything really like something I do that you wonder what on earth I'm actually doing at high speed. If anyone has an idea of something else like that. Now see, and this is why I like the Art Glitter Clear Glue because it gives you a little time to move things. I would never have been able to move that with the Scotch quick dry adhesive. It would just, it would already be done. So um, that's why I ended up switching to this. I very much like it uh, for it's, it's a little thinner. So it just gives you a chance to move things around slightly if you need to. All right, so what do you guys want next? Page kit, layout share, or 
a certain technique you want to see me do in real time versus at hyperspeed? Put it in the comments. Xanthi is making little snuffly noises, so I don't know if you can hear her or not. For those of you who don't know, I keep a small box at the top of my... Um, so I, I scrapbook standing up. I have this wooden platform my stepfather built me that sits, at the, um, sits on top of my dining room table. I was scrapbooking in my living room but I found out I actually prefer scrapbooking standing up. So I moved to my dining room because it would be super awkward to scrapbook standing up in my living room with my family sitting in my living room. So I moved to the dining room. I've scrapbooked in the dining room before and um, I'm just using the platform. I love it. I, I did a little video where I shared what it looks like and um, it's now months later and I still adore it. I've actually been using it since, excuse me, that was a rude noise to make, um, since March, I think since March. Um, so I'm just lifting these up right where they are because I actually very much like the placement of them. You guys are no fun. Layout share or page kits. Layout share or page kits. I mean, I can do both, but because it's only 641, um, my housemate said she wouldn't be home until after 730. I don't know if I'll stay on until 730, but um, I can stay on for a bit longer. No big deal. All right. Oh, you know what, though? It needs enamel dots. It really needs enamel dots. I just have to find the right color. I say that like I don't add enamel dots to like practically everything I make. And it's so funny because someone had asked me, you know, do I use Nouveau drops? And I do, I just use them on my cards. I, uh, I don't videotape my cards. I make very simple cards or I make cards where it's a direct copy of uh, Jennifer McGuire or, um, Christina Werner or, you know, one of those people. Uh, so I wouldn't want to make a video of that because it would be obnoxious. Look, here's a card I made that is not an original design. So, you know, there you go. So these are my mind's eye, I think. I don't know where I put the packaging. Okay, super fun for me. That'll be awesome later. Aqua. And then I, do I want them here? No, I want them here. And there's the pink, that's big. And then the green, that's small. Which is good, because I've got that big green arrow there. So, the medium aqua. Okay, and then, yeah. I'm gonna add some spattering. All right, I think I'm gonna go for black, which is always scary because, you know, so these are shimmers. It's a very flat black. So it's not, even though it's a shimmers and it's a vibes, it's, it really reads more like a dark gray. It's called Before Dark. And let me just find my postcard. Yeah, always need enamel dots. Oh yeah, so I didn't finish that story, sorry. Um, so I use Nouveau Drops for my cards because I find, um, as I said today, it's super humid. Um, so when it, it it's humid, it tends to get um, they stay sticky and I don't like that. <laughs> so I just, use that for the cards, which unless I send it to friends who scrapbook and make cards, you know, I'm sure gets tossed after three days. Although 
Y'all, I have to tell you something that made me cry. Uh, I mentioned my mom passed away a couple of years ago when we were going through her things. Um, I'll talk about this well. So here's the finished layout minus the journaling. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. I will put pictures up on Instagram. My Instagram is Ollie Quig, O-L-I-Q-U-I-G Scraps. You know, that's my handle on, um, on Instagram. Um, so I'll put this up on there later on after I do the journaling. So when my mom passed away, we found um, that she had saved like a whole bunch of the cards that I had made for both her and my stepfather. I'm just gonna fix this. Um, it got a little crooked. As I said at the be I sorry, I said at the beginning of the video, um, my cat knocked over my tripod and so it's it's angry at me right now and it does not want to go in the right spot. Sorry, I'll just flip this over while I'm putting stuff away. Um, so at, you know, when we were going through her things, um, we found that she had kept a whole bunch of the cards I had made in like a little folder. And you know, this was two years over two years ago. Well, we went and saw Come From Away at a regional theater in our capital city of Connecticut. By the way, if you ever have a chance to see that show, do it. It's literally the best thing I've ever seen on Broadway uh, or like any Broadway style show. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's actually Canadian. <laughs> um, and my stepfather, so two years ago when I found them, I was like, oh my gosh, you kept all my cards. And I'm like, do you want me to you know, take them or get rid of them. And so I was like, no, 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 I'll take care of it. So I just thought he was going to toss them once I left the house. <laughs> and so we're sitting in the lobby waiting for the show to start. And he's like, oh, I finally got the cards up. And I had no idea what he was talking about because he's talking about something that happened two years ago. And I'm like, what? So he actually took a bunch of the cards um, that I had made for uh, both of them over the years and had framed them and put them up as art in his living room. <laughs> and I was like, trying not to sob in public. So <laughs> that was a fun night. And then we, we saw Come From Away, which if you don't know, it's actually about uh, just after 9-11. Uh, so I was sobbing like the whole night. All right, anyway, let us Go ahead and do a little layout share. None of the journaling is done on these. Um, these were made on Saturday and it's now Tuesday and I came home and there were teenagers here and um, saying goodbye to my nephew and stuff like that. And then we, like I said, my nephew went to his uh, live-in summer program on Sunday and then Monday I had to work. So I have not yet got the journaling done, but everything else is completed. So the majority of these are for an album. I'm almost done. I've got five layouts left. And then all I have to do is pop the rest of the photos into like a project lifestyle pocket pages. So these are um, Disney and um, SeaWorld. And I think that's it. Yeah, Disney and Zero World, that's where it went. Oh, there's ink there, I have to clean that up. So this is the first one. And for this, no, nope, I had it right the first time. So this is a double page layout. This is the Clyde and Seymour show, which is the seal and walrus comedy show. Like there's a mime pirate and an otter with a scabbard and you know, a bunch of like goofy things. And I used, Maggie Holmes, Sunny Days. I bought the project pad from Joann's for that. So that's where the paper is. The glitter paper also comes with that. I used some Distress Ink through a stencil in Chip Sapphire, Cracked Pistachio, and Abandoned Coral. And the stencil is from the Crafters Workshop. And it's something, something Peacock. I don't remember exactly, um, but it's like, it's supposed to, be remnant of a of a peacock tail. 
And then the ampersand is a wood veneer also from Colorcast Designs. The stars, I have no idea where those are from. And then the vanilla dots, I believe, are my mind's eye. But the stickers and the paper and the cut apart, it's not a cut apart sheet, it was um, from the die cut set. And all of these, those are from Sunny Days by Maggie Holmes. So it's so funny because I was talking about the fall Maggie Holmes not being of interest for me. You have those same photos from 2003. I'm sure there are like thousands of people all over this country and others that have these photos. This is our favorite show. Um, we, we like a good comedy show. So it was fun. Kean was seven, so it's kind of like the, I think, the perfect age for that type of show. So the next one is the stunt show at, at the time it was MGM, now I believe it's called Disney Studios. Um, I used Dear Lizzie, Good Day? No, it's not. Uh, Be Good? Hang on, I'm going to go look at it. I just got it. I just bought it from Blitzy, actually. Um, it is not a project pad. It is just a um, pad of paper. It's all good. That's what it's called. So I got the paper. I got the chipboard stickers. And then I got the regular stickers as well. These two wood veneer are just, I have no idea where they came from. The shiny stickers are from, they're a thicker set, thicker word set, travel themed. I don't, I think they did come out with a line. I do not know what line they came out with, but you'll see here I have, this came from the cut apart sheet and then I stacked on top of it, a pattern paper filled with houses that were reminiscent of the houses in the background. And then I layered that over this green diagonal stripe. And then I just titled it very simply with stunt show. And so this is, yes, yep, yeah, you bet, sure, uh-huh, gotcha. I'm actually going to add the word nope here. I just didn't have the right size letters um, on my, in, that I didn't bring them to the crop with me. And then over here, I'm gonna write about, it was so much fun watching the stunt show, but oh my goodness, I would never in a million years ever be a stunt person. So that is the, one of the layouts, I, so, yeah, that's another layout I did at the crop. So for those of you who don't know, CKC does these crops now. It's called a sit and crop and it runs all day and that, so it runs into their evening crops, which um, tend to have more, they tend to have like prizes, their costs a little bit more. Um, the day crop costs $15 and you can just basically, you know, bring your stuff, crop all day, go to the shop. It includes a shopping pass. Um, to the vendor fair. So you're paying $15 to sit and crop all day. And also like the, the vendor fair, depending on how much you pay is anywhere between seven and $10, depending on when you buy it. Um, so we go there, I think there were five of us there this year. There were three of us. We went a previous year, only a couple of us could go, but we went, we had, unfortunately Tina had to leave early but um, we had a great time. I mean, it's no frills. They don't provide you with anything, um, you know, that, but you can sit and crop and chat with your friends and there's nobody there. It's crazy. <laughs> we were able to pull three tables together and just like be almost there. I want to say maybe two dozen people. That's it. Um, so, it's fabulous. I will totally say that it is fabulous. Okay, so this one is called Drunk Scrabble. This is back at the house. Uh, we had rented a house with a whole bunch of different people, uh, like different friends of ours. We didn't like go to the parks together. We just like had home base together and people did different things depending on, you know, what they wanted to do and what their interests were. So we were playing Scrabble and we were drinking. And so we then pulled Scrabble into partially Balderdash. And the point was you could put down whatever word you wanted as long as you knew what it meant in your head. So <laughs> this once again is using the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days. I have this pink tone on tone paper as my background and I layered it over this yellow and pink floral paper that I tore. 
I've been a, really into tearing papers lately, which I know is odd. It's kind of old school, but I think it's coming back a lot. And I think as you see things, they work their way into your brain and you start doing them as well. So this is from Pink Paisley. It's one of the ones that came out with the Paige Evans line. And then the acrylic stars are from Ellie's studio, but everything else is from the Sunny Days Project Pack. And once again, I will do the journey later. Then we have this one called Indiana Awesome. And this is the Indiana show at, I think it's also MGM. Um, so this is the Dear Lizzie, It's All Good um, paper. And then also I had, I also purchased the stickers. And then I also use this arrow from that black and white travel line and the mirrored acrylic and then the frosted acrylics, those are also from Color Cast Designs. This is really great. It comes with a cover on it so it doesn't get scratched up at all and it is so shiny and awesome. I don't know how, it, it reads kind of flat in the, um, in the video because I'm watching the video on my laptop so I can see the chat. And um, so when I take photos, for Instagram, I'll make sure to take a photo at an angle so you can get how shiny and awesome that word awesome is. All right, and then one last layout. I did not make this at the crop. I made this at my house. And the reason I didn't film it was because I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. I didn't necessarily go into it to make a specific layout. I had, a, um, for those of you who don't know, back in May, I put together a bunch of page kits. I don't normally put together page kits. I normally put together larger kits that I then scrapbook five or six things with. This time though, I decided to go and make five page kits and hold on just one second. I've got someone trying to talk to me. Oh no, that's just my, my coworker wondering if I'm in so she can give me my 31 stuff that I ordered through her party. So, not of importance right now. Um, so, as I said, I've been making page kits and then, oh, the awesome, yeah, sorry. I'm reading the chat and Tina's talking about the, the word awesome. It really is, it's, it's, it's like a rose gold color and it's just very much a beautiful piece of artwork, craft work, whatever you call it. All right, so as I said, I was making page kits and with some, a bunch of Felicity Jane. And I had the page kit, the page I made, I had not a lot and I didn't have a full piece of paper. So I thought though it would look cute if I started piecing it together to create a 12 by 12. So I didn't have any plans for it. And then looking at the colors and stuff, it really felt that, wow, it really fit the mood of this particular layout. Uh, so when I went to Heather's Crafting Life's crop back in October, 2018, I expressly stayed an extra day because I wanted to explore Charlotte. That's where she was holding the crop. And unfortunately, it poured. I'm not even talking like there was a bit of rain. It poured. And I knew it was going to pour like at least two to three days before because my original plan was to take a walking tour of one of the neighborhoods because they have really, you know, great neighborhoods in the city. And so obviously I was not going to do that. I can do a little rain, a uh, torrential downpour. That's a no. Um, so I went on travel, what is that? Travel advisor, trip advisor, trip advisor, and uh, looked for some things to do. And one of the things that was highly suggested was the Levine Center of the New South, I think it's called. So basically it's a museum, but it's slanted about, um, the rise of Charlotte from a rural, industrial area 
to um, to its modern days, but with a social justice type bent. So it talks about race relations and the rise of um, immigrants and um, you know women and how they affected it. And then it goes into religion and how you know the Billy Graham is based all out of uh, is from Charlotte. So and then industry and cars and you know just how these things affected the people who live in that area. And I, it was a fascinating museum. And then they also had a special exhibit about the riots they had there a couple years ago. So I went up to that and that was um, very interesting as well. And then I also had a picture of where I ate lunch, which was right next door, right next door at the Seventh Street Market. I think that's what it's called. I have to go back. I have actually already written the journaling for this on my computer. I just need to go back and actually copy it onto this page. So this is all Felicity Jane, except for the alphas. These blue words are from hip kit that I got in a grab bag. And then the word Charlotte, which I'm gonna have to go back and add a little bit of liquid glue to, because for some reason it's not sticking really well, probably because it's been incredibly humid here. Um, but those are from Freckled Fawn. But the rest are all, um, Felicity Jane. And so those are my layouts. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of water. And what are we at? We're at seven o'clock. So I think I'll make a page kit and then I will let y'all go. So let me just, as I said, take a sip of water. Ah, there we go. All right, so as I said, I normally make kits in the sense that um, I either base them off of a kit that someone has professionally put together, like say a hip kit. I have a kit going right now. Let me see if I've got it right here. Um, where on earth did it go? Oh, here it is. So this is a kit I made based off of either the April or May um, hip kit. So it has some of the stuff that is in that kit and then some stuff from my stash that is indicative. And obviously I just reuse whatever plastic bags I have hanging around in my stuff. So that's what I normally do. Um, but sometimes and this is just a recent thing that I've noticed I like, is I like having less of a choice. It makes it go by faster and it just works really well for me. So we're gonna start off with these two photos. So I'm gonna make a layout out of this. This is me and my younger brother. And my aunt made me that dress. She made a lot of my dresses when I was little. And so looking at that dress, I know I want to pull from um, a certain line. Sorry, I've got to step away, so I'm probably getting a little quieter. Uh, where are we going? Here we go. So I want to use the Moonstruck line, I think. I, you know, you might think about something. Oh, thank you, Beth. That's the beautiful layouts, which is always nice to hear. But then you don't, I don't necessarily always remember what I actually have in here. So I'm just going to kind of poke through. So what I normally like to do if I'm going to make a page kit versus a big kit is pull two to three pieces of paper to start off with. So I'm going to pull this one out. I like the script. I like it could be a background page. And then I'm going to pull this one out. I like that it's different, but still watercolory. And then the B side of this has the cut aparts, which can really be useful, both as a cut apart, as a title, um, you can fussy cut and then it becomes an embellishment. So I think that will work really well. And I think rather than pull another full piece, let me pull my photos out so I know what I'm looking at. And I, I realize there's a bright blue Smurf camera in the photo, that's not the basis of my layout. So we're just going to um, 
go more towards the pinks. I know I've got some um, aqua in there, but I don't want it all one color. And then I think I'll pull in these roses with the black and white on the other side. And that just gives a nice contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the papers and go ahead and lose them. And now move on to embellishments. Cause like I said, I just, I try to move pretty quick. Ooh, I had more, I didn't realize. Do I want more of the rose paper? Yeah, I'll go ahead, but I won't pick that one. Cause you know, then you start having too much of a choice. So as I, I don't know why I had like 90 packs of enamel dots in here. I've been wondering where some of my enamel dots have gone. Well, I found them. Okay, let's pull all these out and we'll leave the branding strips alone because we've got enough paper. Okay, all right, so let me get rid of the sketch since I made the layout. Get these all here and pull here. And uh, all right, you know what? I did forget something. I'm gonna have to step away for a second. Um, Anyone else doing anything for Christmas in July, like scrapbooking wise or card making wise, like getting ready for your Christmas cards or making, uh, getting done with all of your 2018 Christmas scrapbooking, leave me a note. I am back. I forgot the wax paper, which is, oh, that's Archie. <laughs> um, yes, my wax paper. Don't I wish. <laughs> Trust me, if I was part of that Reynolds family, I would be scrapbooking professionally. <laughs> I wouldn't have to work full time. Oh, you don't want it? Yeah, I, I'm there with you, Tina. Sometimes I'm just like, oof. Sometimes. So I do a mix of things with the ones that are on the clear like this. I will just go ahead and trim them apart. I think what I'm going to do is the ampersand because if I can use an ampersand, I will use an ampersand. And then also the word love and I'll just trim this out. And I just try to think of what I might actually use for this layout. And I try to keep it, you know, could I use Beautiful Life, Blossom and Bloom and Keepsakes? Probably, I absolutely could. But will I honestly use five puffy stickers of not small amount, but like larger pieces on one layout? Probably not. So I, I just try to be honest with myself. Yeah, see, otherwise what I end up doing is I end up piling things on in Let's go. So rub-ons. I will say the rub-ons on here in this line worked really well. What do we have here? We've got Don't forget your daydreams, one of my least favorite sayings in the scrapbooking world. Um, just so you know, I have to lift my glasses up and look at this without my glasses to read them because that's how old I am now. There we go. So lovely star chasers and a moon. Ooh, we might be out of luck with this one. Oh, where the heart is. I like that. So we'll keep that one and put the rest of these away. You want to finish your descent? Yeah. Okay. So let's be honest, ladies. Um, I do a December daily like every couple years. I did one, I got up to about Christmas day and I continued taking photos and I continued journaling. I did not however continue um, completing it. So I have about 10 days left to actually do. I'm going to, that is like my goal to get done in July um, is to finish that off. So 
for the Christmas crafty Christmas in July that may be a bonus video doing an album share of my December daily if I finish it we'll see Night was made for moments like these timeless dreamy um, actually, I kind of like the light that's made for moments like these. I'm just worried there's too many words going on. So we're going to skip it. I am going to add that frame. There are lots of words in here. Beautiful. No, it's okay. You won't feed my heart. So much to love. That's a good one. That's just a scrap of paper. <laughs> Oh, like that's weird. That's an odd die cut. No, that's a scrap of paper that I just apparently stuck in with the die cuts. So like I said, I try to pick just a couple of things that I think might actually work. So I've got a journaling thing and then a frame. And then next up are these washi stickers. I have to say, I like so much that people are, the companies are going more towards washi in flat stickers versus the um all right I think what I'm going to do is cut these four at the top rather than the rolls because it's just too much I already have too much I don't need to increase the muchedness I have I've actually used like and can you can see I've actually used quite a bit of these since they're on sheets rather than rolls you still have a few. Yeah. All right. You know what it is? By the time you have all the pictures from your Christmas stuff, it's January, and you're done with Christmas. Like, done with Christmas. So you don't want to do it. <laughs> and then, you know, you, Christmas in July rolls around, but it's, it's hot. You know, so you're like, oh, I don't want to tie, I don't want to do it. So then it gets around to Christmas time, and that's when you finally end up doing your Christmas layouts from the year before, which probably adds to the not wanting to do your other Christmas layouts once it rolls around to January, because you're already sick of Christmas in the first place, and you just finished doing a whole bunch of layouts already. I don't think any of these are going to work. I've actually used quite a few of them, so I don't mind. I have not used a bunch of these because they're very thick um, for me. I think instead what I'm going to do is pull in some wood veneer. I think I went and got that wax paper and I'm going to end up not needing it. So there you go. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you over prepare. So things I don't add to my page kits um, are title things because I never, I don't know what my title for this is going to be yet. Um, so here's my scrapping space and my alphas sit right there. So I have all of them available to me so I don't necessarily feel the need to uh, pull them in. And then what happens is it ends up being like this where I've got you know, a dozen packs of enamel dots, and then I'm looking for a specific alpha, and I can't find it because it's in a kit. All right, am I thinking star? I think, I think I'm, I th wow, stop speaking English. I think I'm thinking hearts. So these are hearts from Studio Calico. What I like to do is pull in enough that I can do multiple embellishment clusters with them. I usually end up putting three, so I'm gonna pull nine of varying sizes and shapes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now I am going to keep some enamel dots with this, however, I'm not going to keep all of those enamel dots with this. I have a feeling I just shoved them in there because a lot of these don't even match the colors. Um, what I think I'm going to leave are these purple pink shades. And actually, I think there's enough, 
because I don't think that dark purple, I think these pinky purples go better. So I'm just going to leave that one. All right, so that's how I put together a page kit. As you can see, it was, didn't take very long. You know, I have this all together and what I will do is I will just have this just like this and I have um, a, one of these iris containers and I will just layer them in here like this. And then I'll just go to the next one and I'll layer on top and then I'll just work down from them. And then, so I'm doing this for what I'm working on in July and August. And then I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm going to a crop at the end of September in Minnesota. And I'll probably do it for that. Partially do page kits and then um, partially do, I have several subjects of layouts where there are multiple layouts being done for one thing. Um, my nephew's senior prom, some senior outing stuff, um, just some things that are linked, but there are separate stories, so I'm doing separate layouts. Aw, Gail, that's so sweet. Thank you. And you know what? I get inspired by all sorts of different people to make page kits or layout kits or uh, larger kits. And I think that's great. Like oftentimes, uh, Victoria Marie totally inspires me to make kits uh, and do clean layouts. Missy Whitten inspires me to get messy. Um, I was watching Scrapping Amy, one Scrapping, one Scrappy Mommy. Her name is Amy. I met her at Heather's Coffee Lice um crop last October so I know her as Amy but I think she's one scrappy mama and I was watching her video and um she apparently is a, a big fan of Bill Amend who does Foxtrot comics and her husband and daughter got her a um custom drawing of an iguana uh, there's an iguana in Foxtrot for those of you who don't follow that particular comic and it's called one Igu iguana scrapping so he made this cartoon of the Igu iguana oh gosh I'm gonna forget his name Spencer Quincy something like that um eating paper and, it, and he called it one iguana scrapping and I was like oh my god that is totally awesome and it just reminded me I have a couple of pieces of art that have stories behind them and I really should you know write them down because I don't know if I'll necessarily um, always hang that art, but it's a story I want to tell. So, um, you know, I get inspired by scrapbookers all the time. So I think that is super awesome way to continue art in, you know, throughout our whole circle of scrapbookers. All right, let's get back to what I was talking about just before that. Um, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to the crop. I'm going to be bringing several layouts that are linked um, so I will be making a mix of page kits, but then also larger kits that I'll be able to work like multiple, like three to four layouts for, um, for a kit, you know, like have enough in the kit to make three to four layouts. Okay. Sorry. Talking with me and Quincy. Thank you, Beth. It's like one of those things where I've been talking for an hour and 15 minutes or no, since 545. So an hour and a half. So some things in my brain aren't connecting anymore. Um, <laughs> does anybody have any questions? I'm going to take a sip of water. So if anyone has any questions, um, let me know. Whew, it is so humid here. I'm glad this, I mean, I'm, I'm going to miss y'all. This is super fun, but once this goes off, the air conditioner is going back on. It's like 86 degrees and it is so humid out. <laughs> okay, so a couple things. Like I said, my crafty Christmas in July video will be up on Thursday. Uh, it's being hosted by Heather's Crafty Life. So if you want to um, see 
who else is in it, she already has her first video up, so you can go check it out. If you subscribe to the ladies and comment on their Christmas and July videos, you'll then get entered to win a prize from Heather. And as I said, a couple other of the ladies are offering their own prize as well. I will be live again next Tuesday. I'm gonna do four in a row on Tuesdays. Um, as you, as I mentioned, my nephew is away at summer college, which sounds weird, summer college. Uh, it's really like college boot camp. Um, they're getting nine credits in five weeks and uh, it's really, it's, it's an awesome program. And so he's like, he's in class from 8.30 till 5.30 and then they have like uh, computer lab and math lab and all sorts of things. So um, next Tuesday I will be live again. It will most likely um, be at 5.45 once again, because my, this goes for a good time. My housemate normally leaves work at 7.30, so it takes her about 25 minutes to get home. So that gives me enough time to clean up and, and shut everything down and not have her feel like she's disturbing me. Uh, so, Nina, Nina, sorry, Tina. <laughs> T my housemate name is Nina, so that's why I'm like, because I was talking about her and then I turned and Talk to Nina. Tina, oh my gosh. Uh, curious how many completed albums you have. Okay, so if you mean <laughs> albums where uh, all of the things are in sleeves and in the actual album, uh, that would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, completed in the layouts, in the sleeves, in the albums um, together. Uh, one of them is a Disney album. Uh, I do have a layout share for that. All of the rest of them are either yearly or um, one of them is me as like my childhood. So it's not necessarily completely complete because obviously I have that, the photos I just made the page kit for, but the majority, I don't have a ton of my childhood photos left to scrap. It's just um, a couple of years ago, my parents came across some um, that I had never, not, I probably had seen them before, but just not in a long time. So, um, that is one of those albums. I, about a year ago, decided rather than have all of the layouts specifically about different animals in our life within the yearly layouts to have separate animal only layout. So if it's a picture of my nephew and a dog and his dog, um, that goes in the, you know, if it was taken in 2008, that goes in the 2008 album. If it's just a picture of Xanthi or just a picture of Sadie or just a picture, I have a couple of Archie as well, um, then it, those are going to go in albums specifically for animals only. Because when we are going to look for, oh, I want to take, I want to see pictures of the ferrets again, you're gonna, it's easier to find them in like two albums of animal, lay, uh, animal layouts than it is to remember what year that specific layout was, uh, what year that was and then flip through the year. So I have pulled all of those layouts out and um, I have them sitting in Iris case waiting to go back into it, which I think will happen when someone threatens me at gunpoint, I will complete that task. I also have all of my 2018 layouts in um, iris cases, and that is simply because I like to wait until I have the majority of my 2018s done before I file my previous year layouts. I actually only have eight or nine layouts left to do, minus two Christmas layouts that I, I'm just gonna do later in the year. And I, I, I use D-rings so I can slip them in no matter what. But I do wanna finish up those eight lay layouts over the month of July, and then I'm going to lay them out in order-ish. Uh, as long as it's within the same month or season, I'm good. It doesn't have to be specifically, you know, the 14th and the 15th and the 19th. I'm, I'm a good enough, close enough, it's the month of March girl. So I have eight, as I said, I have eight completed albums, but I have many more layouts that should be in an album um, than that. Uh, if you want to see all of my layouts, um, I film 
most of my layouts, but some things I don't. And sometimes I'll pop up like some cards I made. I'll put them up on Instagram, but I won't, I don't videotape those because you know, they're very simple. But as I said, this is my Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on over there. Um, so let's see, Christmas in July, uh, craft a Christmas in July. I keep calling it, there's another, there's several other groups going around doing Christmas in July. So I wanna make sure you're looking for crafty Christmas in July with the um, Christmas tree in the sand. That's the logo that Heather chose. Um, my lives in July will be Tuesday night at 545. Uh, I will be having, so I'll be live on Tuesdays and then I will have videos up on Saturdays. And then normally we would be doing lift and sketch on every other Saturday, but Christy and I are taking a break for the month of July simply because uh, she's got a lot going on craft-wise and life-wise, and it just isn't good for her right now. I have to put my notes in. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I know that. I, I remember seeing that at, because you brought your album to the crop back in March. And I was like, oh, she's so organized for those. That, that's for me, that's something that doesn't bother me. It's like everyone has this, has their own neuroses. And so, you know, you just have to let them have them. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me here tonight. Uh, hope you tune in next Tuesday for my next lives in July. Um, I'll do another layout, maybe next week I'll do some mixed media. So that'll be fun. Um, just to shake it up a little bit. And uh, so we'll see what happens next week. Hope I, hopefully I will see you here. If anything changes, I will put up a community post on YouTube. So uh, you aren't turning in and it turns out I need to hold on till 6.15 or whatnot. All right, ladies, thank you so, so much. I'm gonna sign off now and this will uh, at some point be up on YouTube as a replay. So if you desperately need to see it again, you can. All right, ladies, thanks again so much for joining me. Bye.